This is just a quick example of the use of uh, masking fluid. The stuff I use is Pabeo drawing gum. Uh, it's not thick, it goes on very easy, and it's easily seen when you put other colours on top of it. It's a nice medium grey. So I poured some in my palette. But first, and most importantly, especially if you want to preserve the quality of your watercolour brushes or whichever brush you use, saturate the hairs of the brush with fairy liquid or something similar. So really work this soap into the bristles of the brush. If you're going to use two, which I am, on this occasion, work them both in. Then, also very important, wipe off any excess on a tissue, Kleenex tissue. Right, the way I'm going to do it is I'm going to start this off so you can see <coughs> how easy it is to apply. Then I've got one that is already done and I'll apply colour to that. So just load your brush. And don't forget to clean the masking fluid out otherwise you get bubbles in the uh, masking fluid stops it working so well. So don't be uh, mean with your masking fluid. When it's on thick it may take a little longer to dry but it is easier to get off when you've finished. If you put it on a bit thin sometimes you struggle to get the, uh, the stuff off. So basically that is the application. When you're finished you can wash your brushes out well in water and again wipe off everything and you will be left with brushes that can be used for watercolour if you so wish. So, I have one already finished. I'll put that in the place. And apply the colours. Nice rich colours work well. So I'm going to use a nice blue in the sky. Just mix it straight on. If you're going to do a wet in wet, carry on down. And you can introduce this, as I say, wet in wet. You get some nice contrast in the colours. So that when you peel off your masking fluid, you get a nice sharp contrast. So basically, and simply, that is all it is. Now I'll show you how to take the stuff off. And it's no more than holding it firmly with dry fingers just exert enough pressure to bring the stuff off 
I would imagine my uh, camera is shaking a bit because it's all attached to the easel. So I hope it isn't vibrating too much to spoil the... Uh, Another way of um, lightening up your trees is just clean water and lift. Now obviously it isn't as white, but you can get quite a nice effect which is almost gives you the effect of a roundness because you're lifting it off mainly in the middle and the pressure on the sides isn't as great so it gets a rather nice soft effect so it's a matter of what you prefer I use both but for the silver birch, that is ideal. Now you just paint your silver birch as you would with whatever. The sun coming from uh, the left, say. A little bit of... Uh, bluey grey in there. I'd put it on the right hand side. So I hope that's helped you with uh, an example of how to use masking fluid. Quite simple, nothing fussy and uh, I hope you've enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching. See if we can zoom up, see if it uh, makes it a little bit easier to see.